It's for the smooch because you loved the beach so much here. Indiana Dunes beach is dumps. Look at this. They gave you a bark ranger bag. All right, come on out. All right. Look at her. No, thank you. She said, no, thank you. I don't want to go for a car ride. We're the Farnsworths. We've been traveling full time for the last four years. This year, we purchased a home base in Phoenix, prepared it for short term rentals, and traded our travel trailer in for a toy hauler. Well, the city was a fun experience. We were all just talking about how much fun we had in the city, even though parts of it were really tiring and people got a little bit hangry, I will say. But we had a really great day overall. Today, we're heading out of Illinois and into Indiana. We're going to go stay in Michigan City, and we're gonna go uh, bike ride, and we're gonna go visit the dunes, and we have an appointment tomorrow to change all the tires on Dorothy because they are so bad we did not realize when we purchased it that we were going to need to replace them so soon uh we probably should have looked into that some more before we left phoenix but with everything else going on it just got overlooked so we realized in kansas city that it was looking pretty bad we made it up here to chicago and we don't want to go any further really before we change the tires out so we have an appointment tomorrow at discount tire in michigan city Everyone cross your finger that we don't have a blowout on the way there. Because they're that bold. Crossing my fingers. Crossing your fingers. The litter, you litter. I know, I see. Okay, I'm already starting to sweat as I turn the AC back on. Let's get out of here. I've got a rebel soul. There aren't a lot of places to boondock in northern Indiana, but there was a casino that offered lot docking. We called ahead and they said a couple of nights was fine. Just had to get there on our bald tires first. Oh! Oh what? yeah. What? Why are we watering the... <laughs> we are at the Blue Chip Casino right, right now. We're gonna go burn off some energy. We're gonna go check out the beach and the lighthouse. Hop on the bike trail here, check everything out and then come back for dinner and then take the smooch with us later without the bikes. That way she can enjoy it too. National Guard, I'm Marie. favorite things is the beach yes so we feel guilty that we don't have her because she's been kind of stuck up in the trailer for the last couple of days anyway yeah i'm not smart enough to do this okay Can you fold this while we had a blast biking around we missed cinder she had to stay in the trailer a lot over the last few days while we were in chicago so it was time to pick her up and take her for a hike to the water's edge okay we made it back it's dinner time So much fun in Chicago, but we had to leave our fur baby back at home inside the trailer all day long. It was right during this really crazy heat wave and we were really worried that the power might go out. We're super thankful to have Waggle available. It not only gives us notifications of the temperature and the humidity, but also lets you know if the power goes out and when the power is restored, just in case we needed to call somebody or do something to get her out of a you know potentially dangerous situation. It runs by either plugging in like a USB power cord or it can actually run off of the battery for up to seven days, which is amazing when we're boondocking. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about it. And it uses a Verizon um, cell service, but it's actually a little bit better even than what your cell phones would get on the Verizon network. And so we're able to access the Petwaggle app on our phones and check in on her while we're out and about. This little device right here can keep your pet comfortable and 
safe no matter what the season is. That's right, and it's not only useful for like RVs, but you can also put it in cars and even boats. On the Waggle Pet app, we also have access to something called Vet Chat, which is a telehealth service for the doggos or cat or whatever. Basically, it's a vet on there that if you have questions, you can access to. There is an additional service for it, but it's again, that peace of mind where we're out on the road. Right now, you can go to their website. The link is below and use the code CINDER. How much is it? It's a 50% off discount. 50%. All with the video. <laughs> we had a beautiful ending to the day over at Mount Baldy Sand Dunes. It was gorgeous. We got like just to the end of the trail and we noticed the sun was on the horizon. And so we were just like sprinting as fast as we could. And Cinder romped around and had so much fun in the oh, sand. Geez, and it was, it was beautiful. Hoblin, freshly showered in the parking lot. So we have, you know, the outdoor shower or outdoor sprayer. So we hosed everyone down because they're all full of sand. Oh, it's really windy out there. But I just wanted to say that this, this is more like it. The, the temperatures are much nicer now. Finally, it cooled down. It's gonna be plenty comfortable for us to sleep overnight with the windows down. We don't have any hookups. This is really just lap docking, but it is a perfect base to go explore the, the dunes and the beaches here. And they, we called and made sure, and they were totally friendly and happy to let us stay in their lot. So there's also a skate park here, which the kids are super excited to go to. The next morning we headed to the visitor center with Cinder in tow to check out their Bark Ranger program. This park has their own Bark Ranger badge and bandanas. Look at that, they're so dog friendly, I love it! And in there, there's treats. Here, she lifted the lid, you can give her one. Look at that! Sit, 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 shake, shake. Oh, Okay, give her one. Good dog! This place is ginormous, and right smack dab in the middle of it is also Indiana Dunes State Park. And they kind of work really closely together. There's actually like a three dune challenge you can do within the state park and the national park that looks really fun. But we're on a bit of a time crunch because we're getting new tires today. New tires. Tires. We're getting new, new tires. Getting new tires. So we're in Michigan City for one more night and then we'll be in Elkhart for about a week. So Elkhart's not terribly far away from here. We did find out it's in a different time zone. That's funny. So we can come back and explore if we want. So today we are gonna head to, what is this, Lakefront Drive and drive right up by the beach. There's multiple beaches there over there that we can just hang out at and explore. And the kids are super excited. And the doggos is with us and she's super excited too, our little bark ranger. They're very dog friendly here. <laughs> and aside from Petrified Forest, I don't think there's been any other national parks that have been this lenient about their dog rules. But yeah, yeah, Cinder can go on all of the trails except for like one, which is kind of out of the way anyways and she can be on the beach. Um, she just can't be where there's a lifeguard beach, really? like with swimming with people. Okay, so the Mount Baldy beach is for us the way to go. 
There's no lifeguard here, but there's not humongous crowds. It feels yeah. private, but still really fun and beautiful sand. Okay, I have left the family, including kids and mom and dog, at the beach. And it's my turn to take this gal to go get some new shoes. He wasn't gone for long. Turns out the discount tire had the wrong size tires. Actually, it wasn't really their fault though. It's a long story for another episode, so stay tuned next week. In the meantime, John took the rig back to the casino parking lot and then came back and got us from the beach. Okay, it has been a really fun time in Michigan City. This is our last night, and we drove by a skate park last night with all the lights on, and the kids are super excited to go check it out. So we're gonna go do that, and you guys, it has finally cooled down. I know I look like a hot mess, but it's like 70 degrees and really low humidity. I'm full of sand, because we've been at the beach all day, but this weather is where it's at. <laughs> Yet. It's for the smooch because you loved the beach so much here. Indiana Dunes Beach is in the Look at this! They gave you a Bark Ranger badge, but you know what? You already have one and you have the OG one. The really cool Arrowhead one that they don't make anymore. So you know what? We're gonna give yours to Tweety Foxy. Is that okay? <laughs> I think this would be really good on Tweety Foxy. Hey Bark Ranger, we love you. Alright, come on out. Hey. Hey. Look at her. No thank you. <laughs> she said no thank you. I don't want to go for a car ride. Oh. She had a great time at the beach. I can't say it too loud, she'll get excited. But she did two days worth and she's really tired now, so she just keeps going back and sitting on the couch instead of getting in the vehicles to go anywhere. <laughs> it's time to go. Hi, Ginger. You look good, dog. Get there, get there. Good girl. Stay cool, stay cool. Block the chocks. All right, go get the chocks, the blocks. I'm a teenager. Almost. Yeah, almost a teenager. In what? Like three You got like what three days. Today? today is Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, three days. Wednesday. Oh, it's on a Wednesday this time? It's on Wednesday. Oh, okay. Four days. Four days until he's a teenager. Uh -huh. Well, that's it for Michigan City. Thanks for joining us today. To find out where we're headed on our next contract, plus get bonus footage from this episode, make sure to check out the NOP Club. Next week, we're headed to Elkhart for some much needed upgrades. That is, as long as these bald tires hold up just a little bit further.